Today I'd like to share with you some sketches from a week I spent in County Waterford. I was teaching a course in urban sketching with a very wonderful art school called Art Form and it's down in Dunmore East. At the train station in Ornmore on the morning I left, I couldn't help but notice the contrast between the train station and all the machinery and this lovely field of sheep and horses. I only had 10 minutes before the train came, but I got it done. Well, I'm quite easily annoyed and all these crying babies and loud people around me put me in a bad mood. So I distracted myself by sketching. Now I used my sketch pocket and it was great, but it does need a little bit of tweaking because things did fall out a little bit. I just need to make the pockets a little bit smaller. The next leg of the journey was from Dublin to Waterford and there was some very beautiful but very annoying girls listening to their show without any earphones. So rather than be annoyed, I drew them and then all I could think about was how pretty they were, which was quite nice. Well, I decided I'd spend the whole week trying out my sketch pocket, so I sent a quick pic to my mum. Now outside the hotel, the water comes all the way to the seawall and this lovely little pointer type fellow was going for a swim and he was delighted with himself, but then... He decided, well, that wasn't quite all the swim he wanted. And back in he went and he swam out far, 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 far. And he just kept going. And I did fear for him for a couple of minutes because he really was a long way away. You can just see him. He's a speck there in the distance. So I filmed him and I watched him until I figured he was probably safe. You can see him swimming back to shore here. And here's one of those sisters that many, many people have experienced in their lives. But maybe the boy deserved a good drenching. Mm. Finally, we see the dog coming back into shot. Opposite the hotel where I was staying, there's these beautiful thatch cottages. Now they're quite recently built in the late 1980s, but they're done in the style of the, the local cottages that have been there for hundreds of years. And they are really rather lovely. Wednesday was the first day of my three-day course and I wanted to give the example that you can really sketch anywhere. So I started by sketching the teacup over my breakfast. And once I met the students, I gave them a very, very simple lesson in dilution and concentration because many of them hadn't ever opened a box of watercolours in their lives before. All the students were given their own little cup of tea and they weren't allowed to drink it. No, they had to sketch it because there are so many aspects of watercolour that can be learned from just a simple drawing of a cup of tea. I showed the students some drawing techniques and how when you're drawing people to try and draw people who look like they're going to be a while or look like they're going to have another pint of Guinness. And then after the day was over and they'd all gone home, I sat outside and had some muscles and drew these guys on paddle boards. They turned out to be the young barman from the hotel, which was kind of cool. The Thursday morning's lesson was all about skin tones and values. And the idea was to go to the cafe under the studio because it was pouring rain outside and just draw anything they wanted, but only in one color. They were allowed to use any browns or skin tones that they liked as well. Now, I love doing lettering. It shows up a lot better if you darken your paints gray, but still, it looks really, really good. And I love doing blackboards. Such a simple subject, but so fun. There's Martina, who runs Art Form, just coming to get us. Now, in the afternoon, we went to the Haven Hotel, which is chock a block with all kinds of objects. And I invented a game on the spot called Sketching Bingo. So they had to do a statue and they had to do a mirror. They were everywhere. And of course, they got bonus points for having a few mirrors reflected in one mirror. So I awarded myself extra points. They had to do a framed piece of art or an art print. So I chose to do this framed mirror. And then there was fabric prints everywhere in all kinds of patterns, all very lovely and a very eclectic collection. So I did my little my little storks dancing around on, on some cushions. Now, Friday was due to be lovely and sunny, but it started off a bit cold. So we did a demo of some um, some greens and I wanted to teach them my really handy way for making trees look kind of believable. In the afternoon, the sun did come out and we sat at the harbour and sketched reflections and it was bliss and a lovely way to finish the workshop. Now, on Saturday night, I went to see the wonderful Damien Dempsey and it was on in the Ivy Gardens in Dublin City and the girls I was with, they wanted to see my sketch pocket and how it worked. So I drew the legs of the lad in front of me, hairs and all. And then the music started and what could I do but put away the pens and enjoy it?
The following day was Sunday and I met my lovely daughter, Honor, for lunch in Dublin City. This is Exchequer Street and it's a little cafe called Le Petit Perroquet. And I love drawing my coffee. And even better if it's got a beautiful little vintage French table underneath. And at last on the way home back to Galway, I sat and drew the poor unsuspecting passengers because I love it. What can I say? So with the week that I had, I think I can consider my sketch pocket well and truly field tested. Now, it passed the test for the most part, but I definitely need to tweak it a little bit. Version 7 is on the cards, coming soon, and I'll let you know when it's ready for purchase. Thanks for watching and thanks to Martina and Artform for a fabulous week.